The criminal code bill. At last, it's through the House of Commons. After one of the greatest marathon debates in recent years, the bill was finally passed. We believe that any woman should have the right to ask for a termination of pregnancy within the first three months of pregnancy. These issues, reaching deep into the conscience of the Canadian people and into the members of the House of Commons, were bound to divide the country. They were bound to divide the House of Commons. The Supreme Court of Canada has ruled 5-2 that the country's abortion law is unconstitutional. That means the law has been wiped off the books. It seems so long ago when the Prime Minister, and now the Prime Minister, Pierre Trudeau, introduced the bill, uh, he had the courage to do it. Uh, life moves on. Ryan Stockert, executive producer of The Missing Project. What a great opportunity and honor to have you in studio with us today. So you've been traveling across Canada with your camera and all your gear, listening to the stories of Canadians, uh, 50 years of abortion. How did this all happen for you? How did you get involved in this project? Yeah, I think it was last summer. I was approached by the directors of a few different organizations who had, um, they had brainstormed a big vision to commemorate the 50th anniversary of legalized abortion in Canada. And they'd come up with this idea of a two-fold project where they wanted to gather 50 testimonies from Canadians across Canada, the, the gamut, the, the range, the spectrum of people who've been impacted from fathers to mothers to grandparents and uh, you know all the ripple effects of abortion. They wanted to cover it all. Symbolically one for every year of legalized abortion in Canada. And then an accompanying documentary to go along with it, a 60 minute ish film that would explore the past 50 years of legalized abortion in Canada. So when they approached me about it, I'm a pretty typical Canadian guy. I didn't know much about abortion. And so I thought, well, I don't know if I'm the right person for this, but the more I thought about it, you know, I've got four kids of my own and I believe that Canada does need more kids and ideology, ideologically and theologically, philosophically, whatever. I was, I was on board with a pro-life message, but I just didn't know anything about it. And so I thought, well, you know, what a great way to get into the movement and learn about it, uh, especially something so important, so huge in this country, than going around and talking to women and men who've had to face this issue in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And it's been phenomenal. And how long have you been on the road? Been a few uh, months? Yeah, we began pre-production in December. Okay. And uh, yeah, I've been filming for about a couple months okay. and we've done about half the, half the country so far. So what have been the most impacting elements of this journey for you? I've learned a ton. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not an insider, so it's all brand new and shiny. Um, you know, uh, some of the things that have stood out to me are first the people. You know, we call it the missing project because there's so much missing in the abortion debate in Canada. You know, number one, there's a missing law. There's missing people. There's missing information and health care for women. There's um, missing. Uh, medical facts, there's missing statistics, there's so much missing. So when you say the missing project, you're not just talking about missing people, you're talking about all the missing elements in the conversation even. Absolutely. Missing yeah. re that's, wow, I can't yeah. wait to... Yeah, so that's how, that's how we're exploring it, is uh, kind of topically uh, mm -hmm. through, through all these things that are missing. And so, I mean, when you start talking about uh, missing people, that's, mm -hmm. that's the biggest emotional connection because we're all in relationship with somebody in our lives. And so uh, when you when you hear of a, how an abortion has impacted a child, a potential sibling down the road, you know, from a mother who had gone through an abortion and then the sibling has grown up feeling like they've always been missing somebody in their life. And have you had people that have actually said that in the interviews? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we have one testimony from a woman who said, uh, I grew up as a single child and I always wanted an older brother or sister or a brother or sister. And, and then my mother told me that she had an abortion when she was 17. And, and how that broke, you know, this woman that I talked to, you know, and she wasn't there during it, but it's the ripple effects of how it impacts everybody around you and not just at that time, but in the future as well. Right, right. It's, it's wild. 
Now, on the missing element, you, you started off there by saying the missing law. Are you finding that most Canadians are aware that there's no law on abortion, or are most Canadians generally unaware? What, what's oh your my take goodness, on it? yeah, yeah, we have no idea. You know, so the friends that I've talked to, who are, you know, what are you doing now? And I said, did, did you know we don't have an abortion law? And, and they're shocked. They, they can't believe it. And you know, we're we're in league with you know countries like North Korea. You know, um, they think a developed country, you know, like Canada, who's got all these resources and, um, you know, we, we're so wise and everything. We should have a law, but we don't. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, big, the biggest problem in that is that a lot of people get their morality from a law. If there's, if there's a law, so if, if it's legal to do something, it must be right. Mm -hmm. And so people think, well, okay, if it's legal to get abortion, well, then it must not hurt people, it must not be bad. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that we don't have a law, first of all, m hundreds of thousands of babies are you know, being killed every year, but also people think it's okay because the law is dictated that it is morally right. Wow, wow, profound. So we're talking about the missing law, we're talking about the missing elements of the conversation. Now in a moment, we're actually going to show or watch uh, some clips of actual footage that you have captured during your times interviewing people. Uh, I'd love to get your, your take on uh, you know, how these particular interviews impacted you. And so we're gonna watch that together with our viewers right after this. Let's do it.